Hi! Welcome to part 3 of this tutorial on portals for VR. Today we'll learn how to make objects pass through portals. When we press play and we have our demo camera rig, it will, when you press space on the keyboard, it will shoot this ball. And as you see, this is not what we want. Our ball just bounces back. That's because there is a wall behind it and the wall has a box collider. So we need to let the portal know which wall it's attached to. So I've, I've conveniently renamed portal 1 to be next to wall 1 and portal 2 to be next to wall 2. So now both portals know about the, the wall there behind and I've already done the same for our two portals we created in the previous tutorial. All right, and if we shoot the portal now, you, we can see that the ball passes through without a problem until it's no longer entering a portal and it'll bounce off the wall. Perfect. Now, it's not just a matter of adding a wall collider. The ball itself needs to be prepared. So this is um, a, a larger version of the same prefab that is in the um, in my left hand in the sphere gun. So this prefab, it's here in the prefabs folder on the demo uh, folder for portals. Uh, so this this sphere here is the same instance. And so you'll notice that we have the same portable object as mentioned in the previous tutorial for the camera rig. Um, there's no transform to portal filled out, uh, nothing in this slot. Um, because it's this object. We, we can easily, you know, drag in this transform, it makes no difference. You might want to do something before you portal and then after you portal uh, an object, some, some events. All right, so let's see what this does if we, if we put this object in that portal. Let's switch back to scene and move it here. So we don't only see the ball appearing on the other side, the ball is also nicely clipped on this side of the wall. So what makes that happen, that there's a copy here? Well, it's clone renderer. That's a simple component. There's nothing um, you need to add to any slots if it's the same, um, same object that you want to be cloned. Um, you just drag that on or add the component here and your object will be cloned. Now this, this is a simple sphere with one mesh renderer. This clone renderer goes much further. You can add this and the whole um, tree structure be below it. All the mesh renderers or the skinned mesh renderers will be copied as well. So you can have a hand um, with a skinned mesh renderer in VR and then put it halfway through and still move your fingers and everything will be cloned on the other side of the portal. Uh, you'll, you'll notice this difference in light here. That's because I've baked my lights and there's, there are light probes here. So there's just a bit more orange light because of the reflection with this, this wall here. Uh, but I, I, I like it this way. Uh, if you don't like that and you want it to be perfectly the same, uh, you, you just have to play with your lights. So the lighting conditions on both sides of the portal are the same. All right, so to summarize, we've got a clone renderer and a portalable object and our portals, they have the portal transporter attached to them, as you can see here, portal transporter and some conveniently uh, convenient events as well on the portal transporter. Uh, the last part of it is why is, is this mesh renderer of this original ball, is, why is it not pointing through on the other side of our of our wall. Well, that's because it's not the normal shader um, on the ball. It's not the normal lit shader. It's the mirrors and portals cutoff shaders, mirrors and portals cutoff shader for cloned portables. And you've got a lit and an unlit version of this one. Um, basically, it's the exact same as the lit, but then um, one important thing to note is alpha clipping needs to be on. It won't work if alpha clipping is off. 
as you'll see. So alpha clipping needs to be on. And besides that, it's, it's basically as good a copy as I could make it with shader graph. So you can, you can open it, um, you can open the shader and, uh, and make modifications if you want. All right, I think that's it. Let's play some more with this physics. I love it. Let's try and get a ball that way. Also, the the um, the portal transporter and the portals themselves, they they do cloning. Um, they do um, they they change the size. So imagine this portal being a bit smaller. You see how the clone is also getting smaller. So now we can shoot in a big ball and it comes out a small ball or the other way around. Let's try and shoot one here and it comes out larger. Let's see if we can do that twice. Ah, I missed. So there's some really fun gameplay uh, things to be, to be um, imagined. And I can't wait to see what you built with it. All right, that's about it. Thanks for watching.